Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the current BIOS settings do not fully support the boot device. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial today, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, it wouldn't be a software issue, but actually like a physical um, issue or connection issue you want to take a look into. So you want to go open up your computer case and see if the SATA cable is disconnected from your hard drive and the motherboard to make sure everything is a tight connection in there. And then you might also want to try disconnecting your hard drive from the power supply and then put it back within I would say 30 seconds or so. So then you would boot up again and see if that resolves the problem. Another thing you try would be to replace the actual SATA port on the motherboard and see if that would resolve the problem. Now I know that not all of you guys probably have one readily available, in which case we'll just move on with some of the software potential fixes here for today's tutorial. And hopefully that would be able to work for most of you guys, but I definitely like to stress that this is definitely a potentially physical issue here, and physical issues really rarely can be solved by software means. So just keep that in the back of your mind um, when going through this tutorial. And we're going to go jump into it. So first thing you want to do is actually, if, once you've done all of that, um, try and boot into your boot menu. So depending on your computer's motherboard, it might be a different key you might have to press while you're booting up your computer. In my case, it's the escape key. And you might have to go on Google and actually search that up and see what key you need in order to enter your BIOS settings. So just go do that if you're unaware. But we're going to go ahead and use my arrow keys to scroll down to the enter setup option. Again, this will look different for everybody. And you can notice at the bottom there should be a key. Now every computer BIOS is a little bit different, but there should be a key somewhere on the screen. And in my case, I see there's an F9 key that says Setup Defaults. So I'm going to tap that respective key. There will be a little pop-up here that says Load Default Configuration Now. And the Yes option is highlighted in my case. You might need to use your arrow keys to move back and forth depending on your setup here and what's the default option on your BIOS. But Yes is the default option, that's the one we want to select. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to load them. And then I'm going to tap the F10 key to save and exit. It's going to say save configuration changes and exit now. I'm going to select yes. So now it should relaunch our computer here. So just give it a moment here to let it boot back up into Windows.
Okay, so hopefully your computer should boot up. Again, you know, depending on what your boot device is, I'm not exactly sure if you have an external drive, but probably you're in relation to the Windows installation is more than likely where you're coming from for this tutorial. So if you're still having a problem, you can try running a startup repair as well or system restore, and you can access that in different ways. So you could boot from the media creation utility, which I have tutorials on my channel about how to do that. So if you search that up, you should be able to boot into recovery options from an external CD or DVD or specifically DVD because it doesn't have the storage capacity for that or you could use a USB drive as well but if you're able to boot the windows there's different ways to get to the screen so if you're not able to boot in the windows you don't just say oh I can't boot into windows here because there are different ways to boot into this but I'm just gonna do it because I can boot into Windows, but you can access those advanced options from other means as well. And if you are able to boot into Windows, we're going to just go select the Start Menu and then Power Icon. I'm going to hold down the Shift key on my keyboard while left clicking on Restart. Again, if you are unable to boot into Windows, you can still access a screen like this. So troubleshoot, I'm going to select Reset our PC or see Advanced Options. And then I'm going to select Advanced Options here. So. If you're booting from a USB or DVD, you should be able to get to an option like this. And we're going to go select Start Repair, Find Fixed Problems, uh, Keep Windows from Loading. And you know if that didn't work, you could also select System Restore, use a Restore Point Record on your PC to restore Windows. So you do have a few options here to work with if necessary. If one doesn't work, you can try the other. And you'd select the user account you're trying to perform a start repair for. Enter in the password if there is one on the account. And then we're just going to go let this run. It should take a few minutes, more than likely for most of you guys. And hopefully that would be able to resolve the problem you're having. Again, if that wasn't working, you could try a system restore option I threw out there. But hopefully you'd be able to go forward from here. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.